The F-35 and the Su-57 are two of the most advanced fighter jets in the world, but which one is more deadly? In this video, I will compare the strengths and weaknesses of these two aircraft and explain why the F-35 has an edge over the Su-57 in a hypothetical combat scenario. The F-35 is a fifth-generation stealth multi-role fighter developed by the United States and its allies. It has three variants, the F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C for carrier-based operations. The F-35 is designed to perform air superiority, ground attack, electronic warfare, and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. It has a single engine, a single-seat cockpit, and a low observable design that reduces its radar cross-section and infrared signature. On the other hand, the Su-57 is a fifth-generation stealth air superiority fighter developed by Russia. It is also known as the PAC-FA or T-50. It has a single-seat cockpit, two engines, and a variable sweep wing that allows it to adjust its aerodynamics for different speeds and maneuvers. The Su-57 is designed to counter the F-22 and the F-35 in air-to-air -air combat. It has a range of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and a 30mm cannon. So how do these two fighters compare in terms of performance, stealth, weapons, sensors, and avionics? Let's take a look at some of the key factors that determine their lethality. Performance, the F-35 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 or 1,200 miles per hour, a combat radius of 670 miles, and a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. The Su-57 has a maximum speed of Mach 2 or 1,500 miles per hour, a combat radius of 745 miles, and a service ceiling of 65,000 feet. The Su-57 has an advantage in speed, range, and altitude, which gives it more flexibility and survivability in combat. However, the F-35 has an advantage in maneuverability and agility, thanks to its thrust vectoring nozzle and advanced flight control system. The F-35 can perform extreme angles of attack and high-G turns that the Su-57 cannot match. Stealth the F-35 has a radar cross-section of less than 0.05 square feet, which makes it virtually invisible to most radars. The Su-57 has a radar cross-section of about 1 square foot, which is significantly higher than the F-35s. The Su-57 relies on its speed and maneuverability to evade detection and interception, but it cannot match the F-35's stealth capabilities. The F-35 can operate in enemy airspace without being detected or tracked by most air defense systems. Weapons. The F-35 can carry up to eight air-to-air -air missiles or four air-to-ground weapons internally in its weapon bays. It can also carry up to six external weapons on its hardpoints if stealth is not required. The Su-57, on the other hand, can carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles or four air-to-ground weapons internally in its weapon bays. It can also carry up to ten external weapons on its hardpoints if stealth is not required. Both fighters have similar weapon capacities and options, but the F-35 has an advantage in weapon quality and variety. The F-35 can use advanced weapons, such as the AIM-120 AMROM or Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, the AIM-9X Sidewinder Short Range Infrared Guided Missile, the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, and the GBU-53 Small Diameter Bomb II. These weapons have longer ranges, higher accuracy, better guidance systems, and lower RCS than their Russian counterparts. Sensors The F-35 has a sophisticated sensor sweep that gives it a 360-degree situational awareness of the battlefield. It has an ANAPG-81 active electronically scanned array radar that can track multiple targets at long distances and perform electronic warfare functions. It has an electro-optical targeting system that provides high-resolution infrared imagery and laser designation for precision strikes. It has an ANASQ-239 Barracuda system that provides electronic warfare support measures, electronic countermeasures, and electronic attack capabilities. It also has a distributed aperture system that consists of six infrared cameras that provide missile warning, navigation, and situational awareness. The Su-57 also has advanced sensors, but they are considered to be slightly inferior to the F-35 sensor suite. The Su-57 has an N036 Bialka radar system, which is an electronically scanned array radar that provides air-to-air -air and air-to-surface capabilities. It also has an electro-optical targeting system similar to the F-35, but it may not have the same level of resolution and accuracy as the F-35 system. 
The Su-57 also has electronic warfare capabilities, but they may not be as advanced as the F-35's ANASQ-239 Barracuda system. Avionics The F-35 has advanced avionics and data fusion capabilities that allow it to collect, process, and share vast amounts of information with other friendly aircraft and ground systems in real time. This gives it a significant advantage in network-centric warfare and enables it to operate as a force multiplier. The Su-57 also has advanced avionics, but its capabilities are not as advanced as the F-35s in terms of data fusion and networking. In conclusion, while both the F-35 and the Su-57 are highly advanced fighter jets, the F-35 has several advantages that make it more lethal in a hypothetical combat scenario. Its stealth capabilities, superior maneuverability and agility, advanced weapons with longer ranges and higher accuracy, sophisticated sensor suite, and advanced avionics for data fusion and networking give it an edge over the Su-57. However, it's important to note that the outcome of a real-world combat scenario would depend on a variety of factors, including the skill of the pilots, the tactics employed, and the specific circumstances of the engagement. Both aircraft have their unique strengths and weaknesses, and any comparison should be considered in the context of the operational environment in which they are deployed.